Michael, I'm so glad you came today to learn more about taking care of your diabetes. And one of those important things is definitely checking your blood sugar. I'm going to show you today and hopefully go through the process so you feel comfortable to do this on your own at home. Here's the blood sugar meter itself. So this is where we'll put the test strip and we'll actually get those blood sugar readings displayed. And then we have the lancing device. This is what we're going to load the small needle or the lancet into to get that to stick. Then we have the test strips. This is what we'll use to put into the machine that will actually have your blood on it. It's really important you keep the test strips in this little container and don't take them and put them in a little Ziploc bag or something like that and carry them in your pocket, okay? okay. So if you take them out of here, do you remember that old film, how you could expose old film yes. if it got exposed to light? So you want to keep these in here, okay? okay? If you are paying $1 per test strip or $50 for 50 test strips, for example, then you could benefit from purchasing a store branded meter. You can typically purchase a store brand meter for a very reasonable price and then pay about $20 for 100 test strips. And then it's important that we have hand sanitizer or you can use alcohol pads. It's always important that mm -hmm. you clean your hands before you check a blood sugar. Okay. So what if you did have something on your hands that may skew that number, like honey or jam or something oh. like that? <laughs> you we, know me. We <laughs> won't want that, right? So, all right, so let's go ahead and start. You wanna just pick up this lancing device. Okay. We're gonna load this with the needle first. You see right here, there is kind of like two bumps or two raised parts. This is in the lock mode right now, so mm -hmm. I need you to, with your fingers, turn this over here to the unraised part. So you're gonna be turning this, okay. yep, and then pull the lid off, good. And then you're gonna take one of your lancets, and the color doesn't matter. Okay. Um, they're all the same, they're just different colors. So you're gonna put that smaller part straight down in until it clicks. So just push it straight down all the way till it clicks, perfect. Now if you'll start spinning this top part, that's the cap for the needle. And when it gets loose, you'll notice it's going easier for you and you mm -hmm. can pull it straight off as easier. Okay, yeah. and there's a needle. So there's your needle, so it's not very big. No. So go ahead this and cap. pick up your cap and we're gonna put it back on to that unlocked position. So find that bump on your oh, white yes. part and kind of line it up and push it straight down. Got it. Good. Now you're gonna turn it to lock. And lock it. Perfect. Yes. So the numbers on here, indicate the depth of how much it's going to stick you. Right. So the one would be the smallest stick. So are your fingers calloused? Um, maybe slightly. So. Okay, so you may need a little bit higher. I usually recommend people that have real thin skin mm -hmm. or, or very, um, you know, not hardworking hands to try maybe a two. But you may want to start at a three for depth so okay. that you make sure you're getting an, enough depth to get it some blood, right? Okay. So let's go ahead and turn that dial to three. Okay. Yeah. And then let's go ahead and put our test strip into our meter. So open up your test strips for me. And we just need one. Your hands are clean, so it's yeah. not going to okay. hurt anything. Okay. And then you see you got two ends. You mm -hmm. have the end of the strip here that will actually be um, taking your blood up to get your reading. And then you have the end here that kind of looks to me like a gray Lego block. Yes. Okay. So we're going to slide the gray Lego block end into the meter. Okay. Good. And we can see the meter's turning on. So we don't have to turn the meter on. This is how we turn it on when we check our blood sugar. I see. And what is it asking you for here? It looks like it's asked me to put a drop of blood okay. on the strip. So that, that's kind of our sign that it's ready to go when okay. you are. So you can set that down and you can pick up your lancing device that you've loaded. Are you feeling okay? You ready to do this? Yeah. Okay. So I always recommend using the side of one of your fingers as opposed to the, like the finger pad, if you will, mm -hmm. because you have less nerve endings on the side, it's not gonna hurt as much. And you're gonna just hold it flush up to your skin. And when you're ready, I'm gonna have you push the button to get yourself the little prick. Okay. You ready? Ready. Okay. All right, did you get, yeah. So it looks tiny and it will be enough. So mm -hmm. what we're gonna do is take your other hand and I want you to start at the base of your finger here. And I want you to just slowly milk a little bit more of the blood out there and not so much at the site, but kind of coming and pulling from the base. Okay. We've almost got enough. Yep, and that sometimes happens. Mm. The more, the more times you do it, you'll get more experience. Does that mean I should use a, a deeper It may, uh, or it may have meant, it, it either means you need a higher number or you may have pulled away a bit when you pushed mm. it, which is natural because we don't really want to <laughs> stick ourselves. 
And this is a perfect amount. Okay. So go ahead and use your other hand to pick up the meter and you're gonna put the tip of that strip on the top of that blood drop and it's gonna, yeah. Oh yeah. And a five second countdown here and you've got plenty on there. Okay. So now I will display your result. Wonderful. 111. 111. That's great. You must be doing a really good job taking care of your diabetes. I'm trying. Okay, good job. And then, you know, your doctor likes to see these results. Yes. So we're going to come in here to Friday. Mm -hmm. um, I always like to put what the actual date is right beside it. And then you could write here, it says breakfast. And you could just write after breakfast right after okay. and put your number. Okay. Um, but this information is so helpful to your provider. It will help them make changes or recommend, you know, give okay. recommendations for change to your medicine. So I should keep this log every day. It's really nice if you can, mm -hmm. yeah, take this routinely and then bring yeah. it into your doctor visits. Okay. All right, Michael, do you have any questions about what we were going through today? No, I don't think so. I was just wondering about what to do with the test strip. Okay. And then how to get rid of that lancet that I used. Perfect. If I use that again. Yeah, so what we're going to do um, with your test strip is it's used so you mm. can't use it again. So mm. we'll just throw that in the garbage so you okay. can take it out and, and throw that away. Um, for your lancing device, if you want to take the lancet set out, we're going to have to remove that lid again. Go okay, ahead so and, unlock it. Yeah, perfect. So you twist it to unlock and open it. Yep. And you can actually, um, what I recommend doing is taking it and I usually will hold it over whatever I'm throwing it away in. We mm -hmm. recommend like thick plastic if you don't mm -hmm. have a biohazard container, you don't need one. Okay. Do you use any like detergent that comes in one of those thick plastic containers? Yes, I do. You can use something like that. Just put it in there and after you collect, you know, several of those mm -hmm. um, and it's full, you can go ahead and like put tape over it, write mm -hmm. sharps on it and yeah. your garbage people would take it out then. Okay.